Dan Mowdy is standing by with Katie McKittrick. She is part of that athletic department, and Dan, I know, has some athletic department questions. Here's Dan. Thanks, Gary. Senior Associate Athletic Director here at Lafayette College. Katie McCritter, thanks for joining us here during Lafayette Halftime on the Sports Network. Tell us a little bit about some of the programs that you've been instrumental in getting Lafayette involved in. Now, I understand that you're fresh back from an NCAA pathway program that you attended just last week. Sure, yeah, we just um, completed that last week. Um, it was a year-long program. The intention is for senior-level administrators that their next step, they want to be athletic directors. And so it's a year-long program to kind of build your skill set, um, expose you to some things that maybe you're not exposed to nationally on campus. Um, so it's just a year-long. You get some mentors. You get an AD mentor and a president mentor um, and some training, some professional development. So it was a great year. Oh, sounds terrific. Um, as far as uh, your position as CEO of athletics here at Lafayette College, you have a lot to do with students and their efforts to be involved in service pursuits here on campus and also in the region. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. I'm a, um, involved with all of our student athlete education programs and leadership programs. Um, so we do a variety of things with career development through the Maroon Club and our career services office on campus. Um, I also oversee SAC and help with community service projects, um, different things we do for the community. And then also we have a lot of leadership projects going on. Um, we have the Oaks Leadership Academy, which I think we've talked about before. Um, and we're also taking uh, four students from that group this, this weekend to the Naval Academy Leadership Conference. That's something we want to talk about because it's interesting, Lafayette and Navy being both in the Patriot League, but the Naval Academy does open up its doors. You hear from some pretty impressive speakers from what I understand in that program, and Lafayette again has been invited to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah, actually it's a pretty select group. They invite, you have to be invited to attend, so we've, um, for the past couple of years, been invited to go. We take four students. Um, it's a three-day conference where actually they do um, interact with Naval Academy students. We eat lunch in the mess hall with the, with the rest of the um, academy, which is pretty cool for our students to be exposed to. Um, and then national um, military and civilian leaders, um, CEOs of companies, um, former you know, head coaches this year, the former head coach of the U.S. women's national team is one of the speakers. Um, and former Vice President Dick Cheney is the keynote this year. So uh, really excited for our students to hear from all of them. You know, Katie, part of your many job titles or job duties, I should say, uh, involves compliance. And uh, you're lucky to be here at Lafayette College where is that ever really an issue, I wonder? So it, it, it sounds like it opens up all these other opportunities for you. Absolutely, yeah. I, I think being here allows, allows me to be involved in a lot of different things, not just compliance on bigger campuses, you just oversee compliance and that's all you can do. And this has really opened a lot of doors for me um, and allowed me to be involved with the students and the coaches. Um, and compliance, we don't really have a lot of issues here, just minor things here and there, but it's, it's been a great experience. Getting back to the Naval Academy program for leadership, what is the criteria that Lafayette students have to meet in order to be invited to this great event? Sure, we actually um, choose from our Oaks Leadership Academy, we get nominations. Um, we typically just take fall students because of the time of year, so they're not in practice, they're not, they don't have competitions. Um, but then they have to answer, we have three or four questions that they answer for us about why they want to go and what they can bring back to campus from that. Excellent. So there are some goals set for these student leaders in their pursuits, both on campus and with the community, which is good to see. Um, and uh, they bring that back here, and on campus, there's a pretty strong leadership program named after Dr. Oaks. Yes, yeah. We, uh, we run that every year. It's through the Jeff Jansen program, which was started out of UNC. We have a consultant we work with from um, Ithaca, it's Greg Shelley, and he just administers this leadership academy for its sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Um, and, and the Linville family was uh, gracious enough to donate um, an endowment for the program after uh, legendary Dr. Oaks. <laughs> Whose, whose name is on the soccer field and really lives in the hearts and minds of everybody here on the Lafayette campus. Well, Katie McKittrick, it was a pleasure to catch up with you and your, your many hats that you wear as uh, both the C, uh, C, Chief Operating Officer, I should say, and uh, also your position as Senior Athletic Director, uh, Associate Athletic Director here at Lafayette College. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. All right, now let's bring it back to Matt and Gary.